Android users, you can now have TYT in the palm of your hand. Our TYT app is available for download in the Google Play Store. Just go to tyt.com slash app to find out more. Under my tutelage, I have a new game for TYT live. Uh, it's called Miss Info Wars. <laughs> and the, sub, the subheading is three real fake headlines and one fake fake headline. Three real fake headlines, <laughs> one fake fake headline. Are you guys ready to play? Yep. All right, let's do it. All right. First, Miss InfoWars headline, SJWs want to change vagina to front hole. Okay, so <laughs> did InfoWars actually have that headline or is that the fake Fake yeah. news headline. Is it, yes, is it the okay, fake, fake right. news or the real fake news? All right. Okay, second headline. <clears throat> Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez 3D prints IUDs <laughs> for small donors. <laughs> now, three of these are gonna be true. Three of these are true. That they actually said had those headlines. Fake. Okay, real, they're not real. actually true, they're all fake news, but they were actual headlines in InfoWars. Actual in pixels. Okay, okay. I already love next this headline. Hurricane threatening Hawaii has been split in two by energy beam shot from Antarctica by John Kerry. Okay, all right, all right. And lastly, <laughs> Infowars, <laughs> Hillary caught on tape birthing alien life form. <laughs> so such a tough. They ran three of those three headlines. Three of those headlines. Wow. We're in pixels on InfoWars.com. I'd like to remind everybody that the right wing is outraged that InfoWars has been taken off of some oh, platforms. So they're like, how me. could you? When it's obvious that the IUDs are being printed for the small donors. <laughs> right? And don't forget the energy beam. Okay, so. That energy beam. All right, everyone gets a little vote. Where should we start? All right, let's start with Matt. All right, okay. So going through in order. Uh -huh. uh, front hole story. I. Actually, read that elsewhere. <laughs> I am going for that. That's a true. Uh, a true headline. That is a true <laughs> fake headline. That is a true lie. Uh, Cortez. So it's actually real. That's a real lie. Okay. Um, as opposed to a fake lie. Right. Um, Cortez 3D prints IEDs. Um, I. Th that has the ring of truth because I think she's a true socialist and wouldn't reserve the 3D printed IUDs for big donors. I think mm. I think the 3D <laughs> she printed doesn't IUDs, have corporate money. They're for everyone. Like they are for for the people. Um, oh, but then we run into trouble because the last two are clearly both true. So because <laughs> I've got a friend who's in Hawaii right now and witnessed the Antarctica John Kerry energy beam, and we all know that. Oh, you know what? You know what? Actually, I'm I'm going to change my vote here because okay, I don't think that when Hillary is birthing an alien life form, she has to reveal her true form, her true self, and that wouldn't show up on tape. Ooh. I, so I think yeah, I think when Hillary is in her true lizard being and she's giving birth when she's spawning, uh -huh. that would the energy beams that res, that radiate from that would interfere with any kind of recording device. Therefore, she could not be caught on tape. And and Infowars <laughs> would know that, and of hence course. that's the fake Absolutely. headline. Absolutely. Okay, interesting. What the do you video think? was unavailable. Um, <laughs> you know, it's really hard for me not to say Hillary caught on tape because. Everything is Hillary's fault, right? <laughs> right? And Hillary is always doing what's wrong. But I would say that the top three are stories that they ran. And um, I think Hillary caught on tape birthing alien, alien life form is something that Alex Jones believes in his soul to be <laughs> real, uh -huh. but isn't ready to release that to the general public. Oh, uh, okay. We are weirdly unanimous. Okay, <laughs> and I will tell you why. Because I, uh, whenever playing these games, I always think, or it could be the cup in front of you. Yeah. So like the people picking the headlines would have put Hillary Clinton in the fake headline because we would all guess that Hillary Clinton was yeah. in a real InfoWars headline. On that alone, I'm gonna go with Hillary Clinton birthing an alien life form. Is the fake fake headline? Is the yeah. fake fake All headline. three of you? Yes. You're all wrong. You're wrong. Oh. They never cease to amaze me. Like, you all were chill with John Kerry dividing a hurricane with energy beams? Once again, I know that to be true, but the other. <laughs> exactly. So that one I cheated on because I knew they had that headline. Um, can, can I still we, got it wrong, by the way. You guys, Despite gosh, cheating. 3D prints IUDs for small donors, if only. 
AOC, okay. let's do that. Do yeah, let's time? get on that. Do we have time to watch a little snippet from one of these real? Yes, 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 the, oh, please. These real fake stories, which you're right, maybe SJWs do want to change vagina to front hole, which I think is hilarious, and we need to talk about that. But, <laughs> um, but I do want to say that the hurricane that might have been split into two by energy beams from John Kerry, who happened to be visiting Hawaii, was in fact a real story on InfoWars. And let's just look at a, like a minute of it, just give you a taste. Now back on August 9th, there was either this hurricane or another hurricane that was winding up to hit Hawaii when an energy wave came out of Antarctica. Now, call me crazy, call me a conspiracy theorist. I'm going to show you right now from August 9th. Now watch what comes out of Antarctica here as two, two hurricanes are forming in Hawaii. Boom, an energy beam. What is that coming out of Antarctica, splits two hurricanes? And watching that graphic, I'm remembering all of a sudden that didn't John Skull and Bones carry the former presidential candidate against George W. Bush, another Skull and Bonesman? Didn't he go to, he made a quick trip to Antarctica not too long ago, did he not? No, you're 100% accurate. John Kerry was in Antarctica, I think it was two years ago or less. I'm, I'm, I don't know, was he checking out the hardware or the facility? Uh, there, there are all kinds of different uh, rumors and speculation. Yeah, why is John <laughs> Kerry, why is John uh, Kerry going down to Antarctica just a week after the election to discuss climate change? And then you have energy beams coming out of Antarctica splitting hurricanes. You know, there might be a direct line that, uh, that connects that facility down in Antarctica to the uh, Calorama neighborhood of Washington, D.C., where the Obama Foundation is housed in a 8,400 square foot home that I believe is in part subsidized by the US taxpayer. Not just John Kerry, but it's also coming out of Obama. Okay. Kerry down to Antarctica, Antarctica energy beams to the Obama Foundation. Are you following? Are you following? How did Kerry lose the election when he has power and dominion over the weather? Like, how did he not just stand there, kneel before me? He's I command stormed your from the X Men. Why didn't he use his laser beam on Bush? Okay. And by the way, he split the hurricane and saved Hawaii. Right. He's a hero. I know. He's a hero. About that. Put him back in the office. Want to see more videos like this? Well, you can. All you have to do is subscribe to the TYT channel below. And don't forget to become a TYT member and download the TYT Plus app on your phone. Head over to tyt.com slash join today.